All right, baby, we back <laughs> once a motherfucking game. Um, yeah, I got that part two Shivana guys of uh, four point five my way, Pharrell in the jungle, and it says uh, offensive because it's offensive. Uh, um, thirty one attack speed. We got nine and nine defense. You can actually run per level uh, armor uh, seals if you want to, and of course I got that five percent cooldowns because I got five on the the masteries, and boom. I even get the attack speed right there. I get the three health back, you know, anything, and then boom, six, three, and get the move speed. And that's what I run. Enjoy. All right, baby, we back once a motherfucking again. I got that Shivana my way. 4.5 patch, uh, Pharrell, uh, stacking 101. God, I think this is the record. Um, yeah, I'm pretty sure this is the record. I already did it at 1027 or something with Shivana, but um, that was utility. Um, I, I, I just played that video. I didn't want to do the utility one because I like fucking. I got to the point where I was like, yo, I just want to go full offense this day. Um, it was, um, um, that day I did the utility. I did like about 10 plus, uh, yeah, 10 plus, uh, uh, different jungles with the Pharrell with utility because, you know, it pretty much makes it viable to go utility, move speed, just to get places, gank lanes, or just to farm it up, whatever, just, you know, depending on what jungler I pay, uh, played, you know, if I play Volibear utility, and, you know, I try to gank as much, if I play Zin Chao utility, I try to look for them early gank, I try to snowball these lanes, now what I'm trying to do here is just farm, now, if you guys are playing in the lower silver, bronze, gold, uh, platinum, lower diamond, this is one way you can pretty much carry games, is pretty much just ignore the whole, uh, uh, whole early lane phase of, of ganking or helping your teammate just worry about you and just farming it up. Um, I'm going against a jack shot so I dropped the ward there just in case you know, it got stolen. I would run over to his rip off. Um, so instead of uh, doing the rip off, I decided to do this camp first and putting a ward there on my red buff. No, I, I know he's not gonna steal it. So what I did was I did blue buff, I did uh, wolf camp, I did raid camp, I did double. So that's four camps I just did there. I put a ward here so I know it's not going to be stolen. Um, let me remove the jacks off of this so you can't see the enemy team. Now I got rep buff and since I'm 21 in offense and I just picked up rep buff. She didn't flash and she tanked the spear. She would have lived. I would have been able to help her. So I was like, okay, I'm not going to waste my time in this. I don't care about it. It's not worth picking it up. It's just giving information to the enemy team where I'm at, even though they just saw me and I'm dunk myself. And plus, when they uh, know Shivana's not ganking lanes, they got to know that I'm just pretty much wanting it up right now. So it's 4 minutes, 50 seconds in. Uh, I pick up, I picked up, well, it doesn't show, I guess, until I get my wriggles. So yeah, I'm just going to farm it up. But, um, you can see, I'm going, I'm just going. So can speed this up. The wolf camp back to the white, all the way back top. And the thing about Shivana is when you hit level 6 and you're not going to gain any lanes, you can just use your old lane. If you get low, you have to pick up a buff. Uh, you see me picking up this, so I decided to do all this to take a risk. <laughs> uh, maybe dying to one of these jungle camps. You're like, okay, is he really going to do this? Drop the flame breath. Right, let's take the auto attack off. Get that. Uh, level up, hit level 7, drop a ward just in case so I can pour it back right here because you never know a random ass jacks or if mid wasn't even on the map. I could probably, you know, I could have went down there. So I pick up my wriggles. So 7, almost 8 minutes in, uh, I got 17 stacks right now. So boom, back in the jungle. Now since I picked up my wriggles, I'm going to do an extra damage. Um, at 19 stacks right now, drop a ward just in case you in there. Um, there's going to be a video where I, I pretty much tell you how to deal with the Pharrell farm junglers. So my red buff, jungling. So right now I'm at 22 stacks, 98, and, and boom. Uh, almost there. So there's 23, 24, and 25. Just to break the 10 minute mark. And I break the 10 minute mark. 9.57 actually uh, on that. Um, so I'm probably gonna go back and buy a giant spell. Now when you farm this fucking hard, you wanna pick up HP. You do not wanna get uh you do not wanna get a a, a vamp scepter. If you get a vamp scepter, you're gonna be a little bit squishy. Remember all you did was farm at the same level as the enemy mid laner, one level above Jax. Uh uh or, or that's I mean, uh, one, uh, same level as both solo laners on level three. Uh, same level, well, now I'm level 9, so it nearly hit level 9 too. Uh, you know, freaking the highest level on my team right now. So, wh whoever fails in this game, I'm gonna make up. 
especially when I hit R and I jump onto people and my stats go up with the armor and magic resist, I'm gonna be a lot tankier. When I, you know, when I hit R, my, my, my burnout's gonna burn a lot of people, plus my twin bite, and I'm maxing flame breath uh, second, so I'm able to uh, shred the shit out of people. Seeing that nobody's in mid right now, I'm gonna tax this lane. Anything I can tax, I'm gonna attack. She nearly showing up here. It made no sense why she went down this way. She just flashed through, which made no sense. It goes down just like that. So not respect me. I, it just made no sense what she was doing. Uh, that's what she really wanted. She gave me a what do you call it? So I I tax that wave, and then I I, I take that out. Jax comes over here, tries to fight me. Probably a mistake trying to fight me. Even though I'm this low, I have minions back me up. I drop that twin bite, and I'm fighting to the death right here. Uh, Ari shows up, but I don't think. Oh, she got an assist. So. Um, there you go. So I just picked up that. Uh, with all that farm tax taken mid and picking up those two kills, I just picked up my Sunfire Cape after buying my Giant Spell and just being broke after that. I had zero gold. Uh, I checked how much gold I had before I started this video to see if it was, and I had 970 on the gold count uh, after doing all the, uh, after getting uh, to, uh, my for all maxed out at 957. So you know, I went back out, boom, instantly picked up my Sunfire Cave. Now just imagine me burning people with the Sunfire Cave, plus me and the Dragon Sustain with the Burnout, plus Flame Breath, I'm going to do a lot of damage. Like I said, it makes up for people that aren't doing so hot in lane. So let me rem uh, move everybody so you actually can see uh, the lanes. I forgot to do that. My bad. Um, so there we go. So we got everybody in their spots. Uh, Nidalee right now, 101 CS to 79, beaten Ari. That one death is be uh, from me, and I have 105 CS right now. My my Caitlyn is pretty good with 126. And I don't care what's happening on this map. I know what I'm doing. I'm, fo I'm, fo I'm focused on farming right now. I have 15 stacks on my Pharrells right now. Uh, 15 stacks on that flare. It, it, it's gonna hurt, guys. It's definitely gonna hurt. Um, so I'm looking around right now. Looks like there's that double kill. Lebron, and I think it's a little bit. So I drop that flame. Come in here, auto attack. Drop the uh, twin. And drop the dragon. Sin. Look how easy. I mean, look, look at this shit, man. Look, I come down here. Now we'll watch this in slow motion. You know, this dude coming in. Look, full HP. I'm three levels above this guy. Look at the damage I'm putting out on him. You think he's gonna be able to get away from here? I already have level two old. Instantly died. Just imagine if there's two other people there. I would have sat on them motherfuckers and go ham right on top of them. So, um, boom. We picked that up. Looking for more jungle camps to farm. Uh, looks like my wolf. I'll wait for the wolf. That's why I went that way. Before going to race, hoping that they would spawn. Cause I want to continue the farm. I don't want to stop. Once you start stopping and looking around and, and, and feed into the, the rage, if, it, if your teams are raging at you for doing what you're doing, then you know you're gonna probably lose the game. So you want to mute people when you play Shivana. So these people thinking that they thought they could fight me. And then, as you can see, it looks like they're uh, failing to realize double kill. Coming in, and it looks like Nilly shows up. I decide to back off. There's no need to take a risk in dying right here, so I'm gonna go ahead and pick up this dragon. Uh, I don't think Jax wants to pick this up. So I pick up that dragon. Boom. I get jumped on. I die for it. I'm kind of upset that I died. There's no uh, uh, no mana. There's the uh, what do you call it coming out, and I think what do you call it died. There's a whole thing coming out from the rest, so they pick up that double buff, so it wasn't all too bad. I got my Sunfire completed and the gold that I have, I have 3k right now. I don't know what I plan on buying. I straight up buy a Randuins. Now buying a Randuins equals uh, I can just pretty much sit on your face. Um, about to spawn in 8 seconds so we come back. Oh no, okay. I said fuck that. What am I doing? So I actually sell that. Buy the Just just buy the armor and then I bought a cup. So I have uh, a little bit more damage plus I have that active. Slow them down just a tad bit. And of course, Kaylin, I told her to back off and give me my fucking stacks. I'm at 28 on uh, Siobhan right now after completing Pharrell at 9.57. So, you know, I mean, it's just, you know, I'm only going to scale into a fucking monster, as you can see. Uh, we got Poppy leaving. Going back. Struggle top lane. Um, really, as we know right now, doing pretty good. Uh, we definitely got to watch out for that Baron. Um, Jack's already completed it. Uh, his uh, Pharrell, I don't know when, but you see the CS difference. I have twice, yeah, twice as much as Jax right now. So uh, you see him get a little cocky over here, uh, coming over here. I don't know if I decide to throw on this. I don't. Fresh coming around the side. Uh, golf ball is down, so I might actually jump on this. So there's a nice beam. Drop the hook beam. Thrown, and it looks like nothing happened, so I decided to back off. Um, not knowing where, you know, Nidalee was. I don't know if she was coming down bot, so what do I do? I go back to the go pick that up. I'm at 35 stacks right now. Boom. 
Uh, looks like Kaylin goes down. <coughs> really is playing a little bit too safe right now, uh, knowing that I could come top. Um, so I finish my Blade of the Rune King. I buy no mantle so I can finish with uh, Mercs. Um, and I'm just going back to farming. I have 38 stacks. Uh, gonna be doing a lot of extra damage. Over here, they need to show some respect so they all die. I don't know if I jump on them. And it sucks I don't have rep buff. I have Blade of the Rune King. The reason why I don't jump on them is because I, I don't have that, that rep buff. Rep buff is a must. When you have, uh, you place your bond, it's definitely. So I decided to back them off all my shit. You see him jumping on me. Poppy shows up. Still sitting on them. They're sitting, they sat in a whole duration of the burn. So there's wind, boom, paint breath, reduce, boom, slap Marino, and Jack's gonna go down here. And really, I don't know if I dive in there, so I like Poppy sides it back. Dragon just spawned. See Lebron down there. I don't know why we have vision. I don't know if he stepped on a Kaelin uh, cupcake. Side to back off and pick up the dragon. So we pick up that dragon. Uh, I don't have my uh, I don't have my ult, so I decide to back off. I don't know if I decide to pick this up. I might. Yeah, I do pick it up. So the reason why I'm picking it up, I know Ari probably can use it. She has a theme. She she'll live. I'm five one right now. I'm fucking unstoppable. I have more CS. Than my ult. I, okay, here I got fucking cocky. I thought I was a fucking god. Ari shows back up. So this, was, I threw the game right here. Like I, I well, I, I didn't throw the game. We didn't lose the game because of it. We could have lost the game. This could have been really bad. But what this team should have uh, done was uh, pick up Baron because they lost that momentum shift. Well, if you look at the gold lead. I mean, it's 15 to 10. They got the 3k gold lead, but oh, a little less than 3k. But picking Baron up here probably would have sealed the deal for. The blue team, but they decided not to do it. They actually might have picked Baron out of the I, I, I think so. So they are pinging it. So we lost Baron here, but me being so fed, you know, actually not going over there. So we did. I, I didn't think they were gonna do it. I didn't. I wasn't aware. I don't know if I was tired. I think I might have been tired. I was dual dual queuing with Sir Chess. He was playing the hammer top lane. I think I was tired. I just wasn't thinking. So blue team actually picked up the Baron buff, and I was like, oh fuck. But the thing about this item, you'll see wh why this item is fucking OP after losing in him. Um, so I'm gonna speed this up. I think we try to get a lane, right? I see a wrap up. I think I picked this up. I really wanted that. She drops the shackles on me, but I dip set out of that. Now, here you go. Oh, no. Yeah, just farming it up. I have 46 stacks going to 47. Um, I'm trying to get this lead, on. I don't know if he goes in this. Hit that in the flame, and he's not gonna take me. I think he goes into the phase, and I take him out. Later. Um, Alright, so I picked that up. Farm that. Farm some more jungle. Killing push bot. Uh, I'm not worried about uh, and pushing it down but until now. So I decided to go back. I buy home guards. Uh, so they decided to buy the big mistake. There's my dragon descent. Uh, what am I doing? There's, oh, let's get the slam. And, uh, Morgana dies instantly right now. Like, right now, I'm a fucking god. I mean, 18, you gotta watch out for a uh, uh, fucking Khaleesi Jr. over here. But right here. Alright, here. Look at this shit. This is why this item. If you farm good, remember, if you lose in hip and you're doing really good, never give up. I did make that mistake and cost us uh, in hip and a tower. And the thing, Search has said it's all good. That's what he said. You know, a lot of people would rage. But watch this super menu right here. I'm hitting this thing like. I mean, look at that. I just. I just like hit this thing easy. I, I'm like hitting it. Like I have five IEs. I mean, that, so you're never out of it. Even if you lose two inhibs and, and you're super far, you just, you just, all you gotta do is wait for your inhibs and wait for the next Baron to spawn. Uh, so we come over here and pick this up. Uh, oh shit, I'm gonna get another fight going down over here. So let's take a look at what happens here. So right now I wanna fight. I have my Dragon's Descent. Look at the, I, uh, look, I got so far, I mean, uh, Blade of the Rune King. Okay, there's Dragon's Descent. We'll talk about the items after this. So boom, nice stun. Into that one. It's like, uh, it goes down instantly. Morgana overextended without their Jax, that really is top lane. Uh, yeah, Jax just finally pulling up. So they thought just because they had our mid and hip taken out that, you know, they don't have to respect us. So they don't respect us, they die. Um, looks like Dragon's about to uh, uh, be done by Jax, but they decided to go over there and pick that up, drop a bunch of wood. Um, and voila, Jax shows bottom. Uh, right now, I pick up a Null Mantle. I think I'm gonna get a Spirit Vistage. I needed some MR, so I'm gonna go ahead and push that. Uh, they decided to push mid. Uh, so we take a look at the items. I have Randuins for the slow. It's good to get the auto attack and get some type of slow. They find Mallet. I decided to jump on to Avon. I'm not worried about you know not having my ult because I will I'll get it back into now here. What you wanna do is peel. 
you never want to go into a team fight when you're this fed unless they're weak as fuck but at this elo i don't know it was you know this is one of my lower diamond accounts so this is pretty much uh, noob elo but if i walked into aurelia and lebron and morgana you're gonna get focused you're gonna take too much damage when one guy always this always happens goes in you always turn and pretty much just peel. Remember, you have a Kaelin with 231 CS. Died four times. Was doing pretty good, you know, in the early game. Doesn't have that last whisper right now, but has enough of that last whisper. So once Kaelin gets that last whisper, it's going to be do doing enough damage. So just drop your abilities and kill this motherfucker and peel down. So coming in here, Morgana dropping the shackles. Oh, uh, there's a spear coming out. It hits a minion. So Nidalee's looking pretty useless right now. Now we got the peel. Jack's over there. Now being focused by three champions. I go in here, so I'm probably going to run back after this. I might actually die here, so... Boom, I decide to flash back towards my team instead of downwards or wherever. So, they're walking in my flame breath right now. And whoever the hell this is, nice flare coming out. Kaelin dropping the snipe. Uh, we lose Thresh right there, but I instantly Shut go down. back right now. So, I don't know if I stop. Boom, I missed the spear. But, you know, not being able... I wanted to back right there so I can hurry up and go back and protect this hit. We're going to lose this in hit, but it doesn't matter. They took the hit, but who gives a fuck? Because I'm a, you saw what I did to... Uh, those caddy minions i'm 56 flare stacks up right now so uh the more i stack the more this item pretty much becomes you know uh it becomes priceless because you got 46 fucking stacks on it now i've had one and i was super fed like this then maybe i could sell it for a different item maybe like a triforce just so that i made it that spell blade move speed or something but you see what i just did to that fucking caddy minion i hit it like it was a fucking uh caster in the back level one uh, just shed all over it. So no matter what, he, like I said, it doesn't matter. You know? Anything uh, we get, you know, after throwing this game, after I threw this game and walked in there and lost in him and the Baron, it does, you know, it, it, I'm gonna uh, pretty much make up for uh for that. And plus, yeah, I actually just uh, almost lost myself there. I almost lost myself there. So um, right now, um, what do we want to do? Uh, we want to contest this Baron, so what I want to do here is I know they can't instantly kill this Baron, so I want to kill this Super Minion. Now, if I decided to go over there and do a little standoff with them, uh, then th this might push, and then sometimes when you you fight and it's stalled out and you're looking at each other, you, your hip towers usually uh, might get pushed down. So they're trying to do this, uh, so I push that wave, so that gives us a little bit more time to stall this game off, and all we want to do right here is get them off Baron. If they decide to stay on it, they're going to be tanking the Baron, and voila. So, boom. They get off it. We got a ward in there. I get locked down. So, now, what they're doing here is they're focusing me. Like, if I... I'll probably drop my ulti in here and make sure that I don't die. So, you see the fight going down. I drop the dragon descent. Fly right on top of a few people. Get as much damage. And there you go. Lebron is taking so much damage. I think he flashes out. No. Gets taken out by Poppy. Uh, let's rewatch me going in here. So, actually, let me take the focus because I was... Because you know it's all about that team fight and knowing how much you can tank and I know I'm very tanky and a lot of cooldowns were just blown on me so a lot of abilities are, are dropped on me so I'm taking a lot of damage I'm getting locked down here so I see my team right here you see one two three and Ari takes it so I decided to take the lantern and come over here and I'll just sit next to Kaylin because she's doing next level damage now what I'm doing here is Kaylin for my Kaylin Kaylin has a wall a lot of people don't do this they leave, basically leave their AD carry if I left my AD carry Jax and Aurelia will probably jump on my Kaylin so I'm in it to win it right now so we're going in here I pretty much can just just pretty much just sit on him I don't care it looks like I do die uh, Thresh gets taken out so I went in a little bit too deep I probably should have bagged uh, but Kaylin's still alive gonna be able to do a lot of damage here Kaylin getting a little balls he misses the spear gets taken out by uh, uh, Kaylin or nearly goes in a little bit too deep okay and then Poppy running for her life uh, I think she gets out of here boom peace late so with Ari Kaylin still alive this is gonna lead them out in the field while four people are dead on the blue team She's going to be able to farm it back up and keep everything pushed so we don't lose control of this map. Um, and go back and probably pick up a BF sword and has enough for that BF sword. So need to work on that IE. Uh, decides to go for a cow. So um, going to have that MR. I guess it's for Caitlyn. Jax does a little bit of magic damage. So yeah, I died there. Kind of upset, but uh, all good because I got 292 CS as a dump. 292 CS. I mean, that's a lot. You know, that's what I had to do to carry this game. So I was like, yo, Kaylin, let me take this. And, you know, I really want red buff right now because I can sit on people. I have finished my spare vestige. I've got a complete build. So it looks like they got a fight going on over there. It's the flying. Poppy actually survives this knife coming out. So um, I see Jax off to the side. Instead of chasing whoever that was, I protect my team. There's no way they're going to be able to do Baron. Spear comes out. Ari goes down. 
Uh, that one. I'm still in my dragon form, just t taking a look, making sure everything's going fine. Um, so they decided to go up, push mid. Um, so I'm behind them right now. I tank that spear. Um, I don't know if they decide to do this. So I take the lantern again. Boom, I don't know if they Jax goes in a little bit too deep front line, gets squatted backwards. I think we lose the inhib here. They're focusing in the inhib, but um, definitely a bad idea. There's the threshold, slowing down. I can see, yeah, slow down uh, Lebron, but he uh, pursuits out, you know, basically taking the slows off. It looks like Thresh is going to go down, uh, but looks like it's the client who's going to take him out. There's the flame breath, not doing enough damage. He pursues out, he lives. Um, so a lot of lanes being pushed right now. Uh, let's see. I decided to do the Baron. Uh, so we got a fight going on over here. Our dragon sent onto Aurelia. Boom. There's Kaylin not being focused. Full HP still. So we're able to take out Aurelia. Uh, and boom. So. Okay. Morgana's gonna go down here. Spear hits Kaylin. Takes out Kaylin. And Lebron. I don't think he really wants anything to do with this. So. Um, so I decided to do this. I wanted him to stay and help me do this, but doesn't. But as you can see, I'm pretty much doing a lot of damage. 67 stacks on the player. Uh, I picked this up. No problem doing it. Um, I decided to drop the Dragon Descent, and well, now we just picked up the Baron. So this definitely puts us back in the game. As you can see, the more team fights, you know, as long as we keep going even on these team fights, or even if we lose, you know, with the numbers, I mean, if it's like, you know, 3 to 2 for them, then it doesn't really matter. If they take the first hit, that's all they're getting. That's all they can get. They already took the hit. As long as, you know, somebody stays alive and is able to keep mid pushed, um, we're good to go. Because, you know, I'm only getting stronger with those uh, stacks stacking up right now. Actually, no, I do fall off just a tad bit because, you know, right now, what am I supposed to get? You know, if uh, AD Carry is getting super fed over there, he's going to be able to do damage, but he doesn't really have to peel. Jax is going in and, and pretty much tanking, uh, uh, tanking everybody. So, you see me just shitting all over this. Easy to push. Wait for the, uh, the Nexus to come back. This game's still going on. Still got about 10 minutes left. So, I'm going to go ahead and speed this up and get back down. Uh, but yeah, I made this game hard. If I didn't die, if I did not die, this game would be so much easier, you know, because not giving up that Baron and then uh, losing the hip, uh, we probably would have uh, slowly taken that lead after losing that early game. And Jax is actually pushing top lane right now. Lebron shows bot. And look, as you can see, we decided to push. Uh, somebody decided to go back. Um, there's the uh, Dragon's Descent on Aurelia. Looks like uh, she blades somebody. Gets that movie. Snipe comes out. Blocked by Jax. Jax focusing on Ari right now. I'm taking the fucking uh, inhib just in case something goes bad. And yeah, that was definitely a mistake. Getting a little bit too close to me. Flame breath. Boom. Gets dominated. I'm still full HP. We do take the inhib. Uh, Spear comes out. Hits uh, Surges. Takes out the hammer. Uh, as you can see, me and Kaylin are still alive. Kaylin takes the Spear. I decided to jump on her. So let's see if I get out of here. So I'm taking a lot of damage. Boom, I get buying it. Boom. I don't know if I get out of this. Uh, looks like uh, I die. So I do die. Four of us are dead, but Thresh has been dead for a while. He spawns in 15 seconds, so that's good. You know, if I would have died a lot sooner than that, they might have been able to get something. Nah, well. No, if I died sooner, I'd be up. But um, Thresh is going to be up. Kaylin's up. Like I said, we've been losing this thing for... That's all they've been able to get in this fucking... Uh, in him. That's it. And if that's all they can get, then they're not going to be able to win this game. So there's Bime and Drop. Kaylin coming back into the game with a Banshee. Uh, I don't know if she's had that, but Ari right now, you know, 2-6, Void Staff, uh, Deans, DFG, Bottom uh, Negatron, because all that magic damage they're doing. So she's got, you know, two MR items. Uh, Poppy going to pick up that blue buff. Um, I go back, I decided to buy a Triforce. Triforce definitely going to help. If I hit somebody, I'm going to get 20 move speed since I'm melee. And if I kill a unit, I get 60 move speed. Uh, it's going to give me that spell blade plus the twin bite plus, you know, give me a little bit of AP. And, you know, like, it doesn't really matter. I mean, 49, uh, I have 70 AP. And then my W doesn't get anything out of that. But my flame threat does get a little bit of AP. So, you know, if I'm able to drop all that onto Lebron, Lebron's going to die. Um... Right now, I'm just stacking up. My Pharrell stacks right now is at 74 minutes, 22 minutes in. Uh, whatever I can find, I'll definitely do it. And you see, it's going to be no problem at this point to, to take out these super minions. Like I told you guys, that's all they're able to take. Now, um, as you can see, Jack's going in first. Not very smart. I don't know why he keeps doing that. Uh, but he needs to be very careful. Like, if he goes in, he needs to follow up from Aurelia. They have Nidalee. They should just play the poke game and just sit in the back. When Jax goes in, he needs to just run back to, uh, towards his team. Because if he's the one being focused, then uh, 
Um, he just got to make sure he doesn't die. But, you know, you know, sometimes that doesn't work. Because if he goes in, takes damage, and then he doesn't get any follow-up because they have a Nidalee. I mean, they don't have, like, a Lissandra where she can just go in first or a Syndra. I don't know what mid laners they play. Or a Zed that just goes in. Uh, really is always in the back line right now. Uh, they're just a little bit too scared. And I have red buff right now. Red buff, and that's what I need. So whoever jumps on Kaylin, I'll probably go back and turn unless I know I'm 100% sure I can pick up uh, Lebron. So I tank a spear uh, right there. I decide to jump in, so it doesn't really matter. They got scared all that. And when I lose Dragon's Descent, I can pretty much just hit something two times and get that ult back within a few seconds, I think. So let's see. Um. All right, Morgana, what do you call the show bot? You see how Poppy's top lane right now. Right now, I'm taking the troll in. I pretty much tank it. Fresh tanking it now. And that's Jax winning first with two people bot lane. I think uh, Morgana and Aurelia are bot lane. And Jax going in here, not realizing his, two, uh, his top laner and his supporter bottom, he dies for free uh, with everybody still living. And Poppy top lane just pushing that out. Uh, we get this. There's a play on to Thresh. Thresh not getting any follow-up. Goes in almost to a side. Cleanses. Uses his Mikhail's. Gets ignited. So there's one ignite down. Ari has to flash that uh, spear from Nidalee. Um, and, and I got dragon for him. I was like, yo, do I need to come in here and zone this? So I decided to go over to Baron Buff. Uh, take this up. Yep, there's a uh, flame, and then we take advantage of uh, Ghana, and there's a really uh, trying to get Caitlyn, but at this point, with no follow-up, that's what I'm talking about. If you have no follow-up, uh, you're losing. You guys might want to switch up your game plan, and they didn't do that. Jax might have been better off split pushing, but no jungler that's behind, especially 200 CS behind me, uh, and down, well, tied up in Baron, all down all those dragons, you know, and... You know, no control, you gotta switch up, you gotta, uh, you know, adapt, realize that every single time you fight, we're not getting anything out of this. We're probably better off just split pushing. And, you know, that might not even work, you know, but if you don't understand the game, it's gonna be a struggle. And I just feel like, you know, the people on the blue team just did not know what to do. Because, you know, after about five team fights, you know, in the game being stalled out and losing the last Baron and losing the last maybe few dragons, they should have just stayed in laning phase. If they would have just stayed in laning phase, well, not laning phase, but let's call it split push uh, or pressure or just not trying to team fight. Maybe trying to pick people off, find fucking uh, crater lenses, oracle lenses and just clearing out our jungle. Maybe trying to catch Thresh. Uh, you know, and when he drops a ward in our jungle, doing something, but they didn't do that. They're, they're, they more, you know, when two people were bottom, Jax was, you know, with three people in mid with Nidalee and Lebron, and he goes in with, on to four people with Poppy top, but we still win that fight. Well, of course we're going to win that fight because I'm so tanky and I'm fed uh, and farm. But, yeah, it's just that, you know, people lose their patience and they just don't know what to do. And when you don't know what to do and you're playing Jax, you don't even have a Triforce. You have your Blade of Lord King, but no Triforce. You're not able to split push. You know, well, you're, you're able to split push, but Jax with a Triforce and a Blade of Lord King is basically what you need. Especially, you know, at this point, you probably have a lot of flare stacks. You have 23. Well, not a lot compared to me. Like, right now, I have 83 stacks up right now. So, I'm pretty much... Uh, gonna shit all over you and do a lot of that magic damage plus all my abilities basically do magic damage and shred the shit out of you plus I can fly onto one of your carries with Blade of Lord King and Renduin so um they, they decided to come through the back and it made no sense and that fucking charm was fucking real and there's RA dropping a DFG zoning the hell out of him missing just about every single ability coming out so I'm still full HP I'm looking at him like what's up baby um I got my Caitlyn in the back you see Caitlyn you see Jax again all right, guys, uh, looks like I just had a bug splat. I had to come back in. So, yeah, there was Ari missing just about every single one of those abilities. You see the fight about to go down. Uh, I forgot what I was talking about, where I left off, but we're just going to go back here. Oh, yeah, I was talking about the Jax. Now, look at this. Now, remember, they have they have Nilly that does poke. Now, you see Jax coming in here. Like, you look around, this happens a lot. Like, you just went in, suicided. I think he just flashed. To go back to safety, but that's no follow-up. That's a Nidalee on your team. You're not playing the pro game. Lebron's in the back. Got zoned by Ari. Can't do shit. I go in, drop the dra dragon to sit, drop that flame breath, and they're not going to be able to do anything right now. So there's Poppy dropping the ulti. I decided to flash on top of him. He shoots out. He's running for his life. Morgana, not going to be able to do anything. And there we go. That's pretty much game. I'm taking a lot of damage right now. I did buy a Triforce. I sold one of my items. Uh, I forgot what item I sold. Um, uh... 
broken right now. No. Oh, I saw the sump fire cave, but I didn't need that. So, yeah, we got the fight going on. I think all five of us are, are still alive. Lee Ron almost gets taken out. Snipe coming out. No, is that the snipe? Nope. Auto tag versus play by uh, that life, and that's it. So, you know, you know, I made that big mistake flying into that team, losing and him, giving out the merit, but I didn't. I knew that we're still in the game. If you're ever playing an AOE, you know, that uh, AOE jungler with uh, flare, just remember, you can farm those super minions like they're just caddy minions. Actually, even easier than caddy minions. Like, they're actually. Uh, what do you call it? So if you never felt the damage that comes out to, out of it, you're you're it, it's just it's too easy. It's just you, you can always put yourself back in the game, wait for your inhib, and never give up. But uh, yeah, this is the game where I pretty much got uh, uh, the record 957 on that flare. I'm pretty sure you know you can probably do it faster if you buy boots. Uh, but yeah, uh, I got it at 957. So if you're trying to break the record, uh, uh, good luck. Um, but yeah, guys, that's pretty much it. And we can talk about the builds. You know, it's obvious you want to get that Sunfire Cape. If you constantly, if you just farm, that's all you do. Never get a Ren Doings right off the bat. If you're, mm, I don't know. I think, I think, you know, when you jungle Shyvana, you can go more, uh, you can get the Blade of the Rune King as your second item with just the Flare. But if your team is doing really bad, Sunfire Cape is a good item because you're going to sit on people's faces. Um, and after that, you know, if you get a Blade of the Rune King, Spear of Visage is definitely a good item. Uh, you know, gonna up that, uh, that heal up that you get from the active. And of course, getting 10% cooldowns. Banshee's fine. Triforce is definitely a good item. Uh, if you have to sell one of your items. If you have to, you know, take things into your own hands when it comes to, uh, you know, split pushing and taking towers faster. But regardless, you know. Uh, when you're ahead and ahead of level, you know, ahead in levels or same levels as solo laners, remember you always have the chance to carry games, even if the other guys are fed, especially with the AD enemy AD carry fed early because you know he's an AD carry. He's not going to build MR. He's not going to build a uh, armor. He's going to build his regular three set piece items, which is his Triforce, uh, uh, Bloodthirster, and and last whisper and sometimes when they, they don't position correctly into in these team fights you're able to get on top of them put a, you know a lot of damage especially when you have red buff you can kill people so yeah uh, Shyvana that's how you play Shyvana how you want to play Shyvana um, is pretty much just farm it up and make up for what people you know for or make up for people doing bad in lane uh, during lane and phase so um, that's pretty much what you want to do if people are ever negative about you not ganking tell them the fuck off uh, don't tell them to fuck off, but just mute them. Just make it easy on yourself because the more you get fed into this fucking, oh, you know, I can't get you know, and they start moaning and shit out their fucking mouths, just mute the cocksuckers. It just makes the game so much easier. And you try to carry the game. Let them be negative. If they want to AFK, who cares? Let them AFK. If they want to do this and that, uh, they want to keep crying, just mute them. Trust me. I have 397 CS as a fucking jungler. If I can do this at, you know, l you know, in diamond level, you can do this shit. Uh, his diet, his flare, flare on NASA's. I'm actually streaming this, guys. So um, don't forget to like the video. I uh, hope you enjoyed. Peace, light. Um, yeah.